Simulators vary in their quality. Some simulators have relatively small visual fields. And if you have a small visual field, it feels like you're looking at a sort of PC screen. It's all a bit too close. But you'll notice in here, this, the sheer size of the facility here, the dome next door in which the cockpit is sat, means that your eyes are focusing at a greater distance and you just get the impression that you're really in a real environment. And then you add little details like the sea surface is moving and it actually looks like water. And you can become so immersed in it, it's like a virtual reality and you actually believe that you're there. And that's the power of a simulator of this quality. My job is, uh, is as a test pilot for the F-35 and I fly the F-35B and C variants uh, out at Patuxent River in Maryland on the east coast of the United States. So I'm personally very involved with the program and I have a lot of experience flying the airplane which I've been flying the real airplane now for about six years. The funnest bit of flying the F-35 for me is, is being in the hover. Um, not just anywhere in the hover though, I really like to be in the hover alongside the ship, a real ship. Um, I've done that a bunch of times. So I have uh, in the order of 100 vertical landings onto US um, carriers, uh, the USS Wasp and the USS America, which we went to most recently uh, just a few months ago. We're in a very uh, fortunate position that the US was prepared to accept our pilots um, and, and, and provide us some continuity so that the skills associated with landing on a carrier haven't faded. So we have a, a good body of folk who are ready to do that when the F-35 comes into service here. Um, one of the reasons we're doing this work in the simulator is because we are going to land this airplane, the F-35B, onto this carrier, the Queen Elizabeth carrier, in a completely new way that has never been done before. I mean, never been done before. It's called an SRVL, or Shipborne Rolling Vertical Landing. Uh, and we spend most of our time in here preparing for that, testing it, looking at the concept of operations and looking at the procedures associated with it. So even though we have these pilots who are retaining the skill set of landing on carriers, they're not landing in the way that we're going to land on here. And the only place you could do that right now is here, in this amazing facility where we get to see the ship and it's the intricate detail that this model provides us with the aircraft and its intricate detail in its modeling. Uh, and those two models come together to provide us with, with this great simulation. So this is the F-35 cockpit, uh, a simulation of the cockpit, although of course you can see this is very real. And as I look around the cockpit, everything is positioned exactly as it is in the real aeroplane, so that when I sit to fly the simulator, it feels like I'm in the real thing, even to the point of the view out of the cockpit is also very well represented. Um, you'll notice it's inside this big dome, and on the walls of the dome, we've got an external world portrayed with the water and the, and the sky that looks realistic. I can even look around and see behind me in both directions because we've got a 360 degree coverage, which is super important because even though I might be concentrating on something in front of me, my peripheral cues are a lot of what I use in order to control and fly the airplane. So the quality of this hardware and the software that puts the images onto the dome is super important to make it feel to me like this is the real thing.